I had some things that I wanted to bring up because we're out of time. I was, uh, I was hoping to talk about the concerns about overselling of remote sensing, which was really a problem for us in the 80s. On was issues about privacy and ground data, I was going to bring that up. I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the sort of the, the move or the sort of the, the rumors of uh, privatization of public goods satellites and how we deal with that. I think there's a lot of issues that are coming up. I really appreciate the, the European agenda where um, policy is, is driving the missions, and I think that's something that we could all benefit from at one level in terms of the agriculture community. Um, I think there's an opportunity, and more and more opportunity, to work with international satellite systems to solve international problems, and I think that's where we're coming from. Uh, the last thing I want to say is that the reason Harvest has been able to do what it's done is through the dedication of the people that work for Harvest, our collaborators, our partners, but also the, the Maryland Hub, and I'd like to thank. Um, we have very good gender balance in our uh, Maryland Hub, and I'd like to thank the amazing women who are working on this uh, program for us. So. <laughs> I think we've got a, um, an, a chance during the reception to follow up on some of these questions. I'd encourage you to do that, and I'll pass it over then to the um, Brad and, and Imbal to just try and wrap up. So thank you all for staying, and it's really been a great, uh, a great sort of mix of people in a very unusual setting. So thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add my thanks uh, to uh, Imbal and her team at uh, NASA Harvest. Uh, uh, I just look out here, I did this yesterday, and, I, and I'm sorry, I've been in this field for some time. I am so impressed uh, by this group of people. Um, you know, you, you can't add too many more people to the expertise uh, really globally to uh, uh, agriculture and EO. Uh, so I want to thank you so much. Just two observations I want to make, uh, because I know that any of the remarks are ready, ready to go. It's, uh, and the first one, I kept thinking today of this old axiom that I had back in the 80s. Uh, and I, I did computer vision. I was a photo interpreter. And uh, how they taught you that you know, what humans do really well and easily, computers can do, and vice versa. And there's other axioms that are similar to that. And, and the thing that I kept thinking about when you guys were and everyone was talking was some of the things we talked about we try to have the satellite imagery just replaced. But sometimes uh, we think we're not thinking about the things that the satellite imagery can really do well. So bring those ideas, bring those crazy things, those thoughts you had about what could have, what maybe we could do this. Bring those to NASA Harvest because you know those are the things that are really going to change, uh, be those generational types of changes. But that goes back to you have to know what's going on on the ground to be able to do that. And so it kind of turns around to some of those points that were made throughout the day. Uh, so please keep me in that. Um, the second thing I was thinking of is, I don't know about you, but I, I got so much about all the panels, and I know I'm a little biased, but so much of all those panels. And I thought, you know, we should have a reception after every panel. <laughs> <laughs> we could have these long talks, these side discussions, Get all that info. Now the last panel would be really fun, right? <laughs> four or five reception. So I'll, I'll just throw that on the list of after action, what we can do better in the next meeting or reception after everyone. With that, I'll turn it over to the boss and the one that really made this happen, Impulse. Thanks very much, Brad. And, uh, We've noted the reception after every panel. For, for this one, we've consolidated all the receptions, and, and uh, we'll have an announcement about that that will be after this. Um, but reflecting on today and what we've heard of today, I think that there are a lot of consistent themes that have come across throughout the panels, throughout the discussions. Um, and I'll, I'd like to touch on them very briefly. I recognize I am what's standing between you and, and, uh, and the reception. Um, but I think what we were hoping to accomplish today is to really create new opportunities and, and to create new collaborations, new partnerships, new ways of, of thinking or thinking about what it is that you're doing, how does that relate to what you've heard today, what are some applications, are you working in the same countries and same regions on, on the same kind of challenges that you've heard today that together we could do better than when we're working each um, individually or, or within our own silos and organizations. Um, 
And so what we were hoping to do is both create new partnerships across the, the broad consortium that's, that's Harvest, but also with new partnerships and, and, and those of you who haven't been engaged with us so far. And so please do also use the time of, of the reception to, to have discussions and, and, and have thoughts, and we're hoping for some more concrete things to, to, to be coming out of, of this overall. Um, reflecting a little bit, I think, about some of the, the, the key messages that, that keep coming up and, and, and uh, top of my list is, is partnerships. And I think, um, you know, partnerships sometimes take courage, especially when they're partnerships that, that, that are traditional for you, that are not comfortable for you. And I think that's a lot of what we've been trying to do within both the GeoGlam community and, and, and also specifically within Harvest, is whether it's we're talking about public-private partnerships, whether it's between the remote sensing research community and policy communities, or it's between NGOs and, and farmers, and et cetera, but really be thinking about how do we do that and, and how do we do that sustainably. And I think we've heard a lot about that and, and a lot about the challenges around that. How is it not that we just develop research? How do we do that transition from, from research into operations and, and thinking about some of the success that, that we've had there and, and some of, of the challenges and, and what we've been able to learn collectively throughout our experiences in, in trying to, to do this. Uh, we've also heard very related to that is, is uh, emphasis about uh, coordination and, and cooperation. I think there are a lot of activities going on that are complementary to each other. We're doing a lot of work here. There's a lot of work going on across uh, the room, across agencies, across countries. And we're going to continue to do our best to make sure that we're each other aware of what we're doing and, and that we can really leverage each other's activities and, and, and maximize what we can do together. Um, and, and I think you've heard some from, on, from the ESA side, on Center for STAT, on, on 50 by 2030, and, and many other initiatives um, that we intend and already are starting to coordinate and, and work out how we can work together. Um, in terms of some of the challenges, I think we've heard quite a lot, what, you know, whether it's we're thinking about the ground data and how do we help move that forward, and again, how do we think about some innovative ways of, of tackling that, whether it's building trust, breaking silos um, on the methodology side, I think we've got to be really careful, and I think that keeps coming up, of where are we today in terms of the research, what are our capabilities, and how do those meet needs, and be real about that, um, and, and looking then at how does that meet uh, current needs, and, and where are we over-promising versus um, where can we be quite accurate about, about what our capabilities are. Um, we're also, I think we need to be thinking about some of our mechanisms for on, on funding, and, and again, that goes back to the sustainability. And so a lot of what I think we've, we've seen and in our experiences, when you go and you've got a three-year or two-year project, you engage, you start to, you know, and, and building these trust relationships and, and the sustainability takes time. Um, and so we need to be thinking about, and especially those of you who are, are donors of, of different ways in, in the room, of how do you make sure that, that when that three-year, two-year, five-year, whatever ends, that there's some way forward and making sure that they're, that they're sustainable. Because otherwise, what we're doing is actually working against ourselves. We're starting to build trust, starting to build an interest in how do you use a, a better, innovate across these technologies, and then all of a sudden you say, okay, sorry, we're, you know, we're leaving. And, and so I think we need to be thinking very carefully about some more innovative ways of making sure that we're, we're sustainably able to, to transition um, into operations, which is really what um, we're all about in, in, in this sense. So I think, um, you know, looking at who's here and, and in the room, I think um, one thing we can say probably comfortably at this point is that through GeoGlam and through this community, we've been building for, for many years now. We, we're starting to, to, to come to be quite a mature community, I would say, within the agricultural monitoring, um, and, and I think that's a testament to all of you being here today from, from across the world, from across um, uh, sectors and, and, and geographies. Um, and, and I think what we're trying to do is really help in how do we have a unified voice and, and some unified vision and, and really help to, to move forward together. So I'd like to really thank all of you for, for being here, for, for participating. Um, I'd like to, to thank the, the consortium member, they're taking three, three days to, to be here with us. Um, I'd like to um, thank very much the particular the NASA hub and, and, and uh, a special thank you to, to Mary, Kim, um, and Alona and, and, and Alyssa for really working tirelessly for months to, to making this, this meeting happen, to the Food Security Office and, and Stephanie, and, and to Lawrence and Brad for your vision and the courage that it took to say, hey, we're going to do this experiment um, and we're going to run this, this applied sciences program in a very different way. And I think that's been a, a big success. So. Thank you very much. Thanks uh, for all of you to be here, and, and I'm going to pass it to Alyssa for some final announcement on how, what we do next. <laughs> I want to thank, obviously, NASA is the you know the foremost sponsor of this entire activity, but we do have some special uh, sponsors for tonight's reception. 
and that includes uh, Maxar Technologies and the Institute for Global Environmental Strategies. So I'd like to thank both of them. They're both here, they're both actively involved in the consortium, and uh, their general support is going to help us have a good time today.